let's talk about the hormones that keep fluids inside the body and not in the potty. Now I call these our nasty hormones because they cause huge problems for a heart failure patient. They basically fill our bodies up with fluid. Now this leads to high blood pressure, fluids in the lungs which sounds like crackles, massive weight gain, and bloated skin that looks like memory foam mattresses. Something called edema. So now let's get into our lineup here. Now first on the list it's the famous aldosterone hormone, aka aldosterone. Now he's the bouncer at the nightclub, Club Raz, that holds Miss Sodium inside the body and retains fluid. Next we have our renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This is what's called nightclub Raz, as mentioned before. This place gets super lit. It basically holds all the fluid inside the body and leads to nasty outcomes with our heart failure patients, which we'll get into in a moment. Next is our ADH, our antidiuretic hormone, which I call ad agua. It's basically a revolving door or a water mill that keeps water inside the body and not in the potty. Next is our ANP, our atrial nutritic peptides, which released by the atriums are kind of like the special forces or Navy SEALs, if you will. They are specially contracted to kill aldosterone hormone in the kidneys to help it let go of sodium and water out of the body. And lastly, we have BNP, brain nutritic peptides, which are released by the ventricles in the heart, not to be confused, with BMP, basic metabolic panel. BNP is just a speedometer that tells how bad your heart's doing. It simply measures all the pressure that's put on those ventricles for heart failure. All right, guys, let's get into their functions here. So for aldosterone, it's a steroid hormone blocked by the diuretic spironolactone. Now, aldosterone, aldosterone I call aldostyrone. He's a steroid hormone, or basically the bouncer to the nightclub Raz, renin angiotensin aldosterone system. His main job is to keep water inside the body and not in the potty, but basically to keep blood pressure up in the body. Now, he does this by blocking Miss Salty Sodium at the kidney doors and prevents her from leaving. Now, as long as Miss Sodium is prevented from leaving, then her water paparazzi, which follows her around, stays inside the body too. Because please remember, where sodium goes, well, water flows. Now, when this RAS system malfunctions with our heart failure patient, it ultimately leads to major fluid volume overload problems. So let's get into exactly what the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is, who Mr. Renin is, and who exactly are these angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2 sisters. So let's get all the juicy details in our Club Raz wrap-up right now. I got some very exciting news for you guys today. Today we're going to a very hot nightclub. The most exclusive and exciting dance party of the body. So go get your hair done, get them nails did, and call up your friends. Because we getting turned up in this mug, you know what I'm saying? We're talking all about Club Raz, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Right now we're going to cover all the pathophysiology and finally understand all that difficult pharmacology, like ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and spironolactone. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! So let's get into this right now! Alright, that was pretty weird, now let's get into this lecture here. Well, every nightclub has doors, correct? Well, it's the same thing as your body. Your body has two main doors serving as exit for fluids and waste. This is known as your kidneys. I mean, how else would you get fluid out of the body and into the potty? I mean, technically you can sweat it out or you can vomit it out, but really the best way is to excrete all that fluid from your kidneys. So your kidneys are like doors to our nightclub Raz, and this club Raz lets fluid out of the body and into the potty. So let's introduce our three main characters to our nightclub management system. First on the list is aldosterone hormone, which I call aldosterone, the bouncer security guard. Now he's a steroid hormone that holds the kidney doors shut and makes sure no fluid is coming out. Because like, come on, we all know that a packed club is a hot popping club, you know what I'm saying? So tyrone holds onto sodium in the kidneys in order to retain water in the body. So guys, write that down. That's probably going to be on your test. Next, we have Mr. Renan, the CEO, because every nightclub has upper management, right? He's the shot caller overseeing everything. And this upper management is located right at the top of the kidneys in the adrenals. 
which makes sense because they're on top, they're upper management, right? Now the president, Mr. Renan, is the boss. He calls all the shots. He's like the mobster, Shay. He does what he wants, Shay. His number one goal is to pack out that club with water because he wants to boost revenue and keep that club packed and popping. So he uses a little telephone system to communicate to aldosterone to shut down the kidneys and hold on to our famous celebrity, Miss Salty Sodium, so that we can retain fluids and boost blood pressure. But how exactly does he do this? Well, he uses angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2, the secretaries, aka Angie 1 and Angie 2. Now these two gals relay messages for Mr. Renan all the way from the top of the kidneys to the bottom of the kidneys where aldosterone is. So when aldosterone finally gets the message, he makes sure to hold on to sodium and also hold on to water before they leave the club. Now a little side note, since Miss Salty Sodium is super famous and such a big deal, the water paparazzi stay around as well. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. Alright guys, see you next time.